like to keep my I think I'm gonna take Crucius. I love Karn, but I think that'll just be irresponsible to take Karn over Crucius. Well, I also have ADHD. So like I'm fine just chilling, but once this thing starts, it's like I want it to keep going. Interesting. I mean, I want to play blue for sure. But like I have a nice three drop. Of, I could maybe play a little bit of a faster deck. I think I'm going to take this lantern. I mean, there's not much here. I don't want to play just black red. Even if I did play black red, I think lantern is the best option. Wanderer's great, and I could see tracker being the pick if you don't have any sort of preferences at all. I think I'm taking close enough to the best card. I would take like a Grixis Duel Land over this guy. Uh, I don't like Lannery much. I don't put like much premium at all on Lightning Bolt. Doesn't kill that many things, and the tempo advantage. Like I'd rather have a Braid than Lightning Bolt. As odd as that may sound, and this cube, where there's no aggro. But I do really like Edict. And then Swindle and Agent are both. I think I'm just gonna take the Edict. But that doesn't mean I don't want to play blue. I still want to play blue. I didn't even know this card was in the fucking cube. I never see this thing. I saw it. Somebody, I saw somebody else in a cube or had a list or something. I saw it and I was like, what the fuck? That's in the cube? Either I never notice it in the pack, which is unlikely, or I just never, ever, ever see it. I don't think it's great. I think I'd rather take Fight with Fire or even into the I don't think it's bad. I guess I could have even considered that fucking 2-2 two -two haste guy. This deck's looking like it could be aggressive. Maybe it doesn't even end up playing blue. Maybe, what was it the guy? He makes squee. Squee might could have been better than I think I should pick Thief. Other options just aren't that good. Maybe if one of these was a black red land, I don't have to jump into another color, but Jadar, this thing, they just don't seem anywhere near as good as a Thief would be. God damn, now there's Memory Deluge, which is just a sicko. Let's take it. If it wasn't here, I mean, you could do the troop or even this thing. This thing. Huh. We're getting nice lands with blue in them. Kind of nice. I haven't seen any of the lands I like either, so they might just be plentiful in extra parts. Well, I mean, I still think I might play all this. I would say the only card I, I think that looks remotely cuttable would be like the Lannery. But I wouldn't consider it aggressive. You're right on that. Relic versus Drown and Icker. I'll take Relic. I got some legendaries to tap with it, too. How does this wheel? It was one of the best cards, and it was only like two cards I thought were even good in this pack. I mean, I want to put somebody into white, so I'm going to pass it. That's crazy, though. I'm due for a Grenzo. I want it more than Opus, for sure. I just hate the art on this. If it didn't look like a fucking stupid-ass coin, I'd probably be more excited about it, as dumb as that is. I don't even want to put it in the main pile, because I hate the look of it. Didn't you hear me just say why I moved it over? I second-picked it, first of all. I, I respect the hell out of Lannery Storm. It looks like it's, it looks stupid. Some have said I don't want to look at him uh, next to these beauties. 
people are dead. And I don't know that Relic looks very good in my deck at the moment. I think that the Relic will look good in my deck by the time I get to the end of the deck. I expect to get, you know, some five mana walkers or... I mean, I have off bite with fire. Deluge costs me. Crucius is a nice one to tap because you don't want to block with it. I mean, this card is not terrible. Yeah, Kindred Denial, but I also see a Swarm Saboteur. I like that Saboteur. I like getting on board early in these decks. I got a nice little early game going. I think I should pick it. Got a nice little early game. I don't know. I got it like 10th pick this time. Maybe later. Might have been 11th. Got it pretty late. I think this is just a land. Clock is cool. Nickel Bolas is cool. I think I just want to... Natali's okay. I think I just want Shipwreck Marsh. Ooh, Commit Memory is perfect. Perfect. It's kind of... Honestly, I could just not even play Fight with Fight. It's pretty good even if you don't kick it. Oh, never mind. See this. I was going to take the land over the key, which is way too... I actually even have creatures to copy with it. Is pretty rare for my blue decks. This card is fucked. I think I want it more than the land, but I might be, I might be playing with fire here. The one pack did the only pack pack one two lands came around in it two red blue land. It doesn't seem like people are taking them that highly. They just weren't opened. I'm going to take Rewind, I guess. I assume I'm going to play it, but don't love it. I could put it over. Aggressive putting over. Uh, I have to leave. I'm going to play it. All right, I got to take a land. I like that case. I like Iron Crag a little bit, too. Metamorph's fine. I guess if I leave two red black, would one ever wheel? Very last card. It could. I think that's probably the best idea. I do think I'd rather have a red land, because red might be more my splash, but I think that this is a better chance that one of them might actually come back last. Can't wheel that one, fortunately. I didn't see any cards in that pack that were just terrible. That had the two lands. This is better than Rewind. Maybe rewinds on the outs. This is also only 11 cards. I mean, if all of these made the deck, I'd still probably think my deck was great. Big Titan? I don't think I want Woe Strider. I'll prefer not to play this Titan. I might even like some of the stuff in the sideboard. I'll put him in the side. I mean, even if one of these cards snuck in, it's probably not the end of the world. Guess I should keep in mind that I have the, also have the relic if I found a late Bonnie Paul or something. I wonder if this does anything in my deck. Probably not. It's good with Crucius and this thing. I don't know. I can look at it at the end of the draft. All right, so last pick, we need that red-black land. One of the two of them. Probably not, but... Yeah, this was the... This was the card I thought most likely I would get if I didn't get a land. That was the one. Yes, this is red-black. Not exciting. I could probably play Liliana. I think I'd rather take the land. I could also play, probably could play conscripts in this. I'll just take the land. 
can definitely play a green card if I want it. Not that I assume this is just hurt. Start. Oh, my bitches. Big bitch Chandra. Double red. I mean, it's going to be good with my fight with fire. I'm not big. It's just a fucking rat. Let's put the fight with fire back in, obviously. Probably the relics are there, too. Gales? I didn't even see Gales. This deck's now exciting. I love a Prismar command. Treasure me, bitch. Ramp me, bitch. This is a nice deck. The mana was good enough. It might not be the worst Gix deck in the world. Could also be a Facebreaker deck. Got a Lannery, Crucios. Maybe this is a better idea. Assume not playing it, but who knows? Big score. Kind of meh. Probably better than multiple choice. Nashi Boo Boo. Nashi Boo Boo. No green cards in my. There we go. This. I don't know what I'd more likely to play. Nashi or Whirly. I don't want to play either. This deck's nice. You can cast this on curve a lot of times. This on curve. This on curve. Like, I actually have stuff I can do on curve. These don't really impact the board on curve, but they're not the worst things to cast on. This is nice. Treat. This deck is a treat. Do I ever want to play this Newt? Wait, but me. I think this pack might have had some lands in it. Doesn't have many more. Was that the one that minus two exile attack preacher? I don't know. White's just pretty weak. It's it's fine. There's not a lot of aggro, so like a lot of times, like the stuff you're emperoring has already done so much to the like everything's got ETBs. It'd be good to get like a thief. It's not bad. The six mana thing is better. I think. I was more surprised to see that. One. Probably playing this. Right, I'm not going to touch my last card and see if it might not bug this time. It's 50 50. Yeah, no Ashiok. I would like to ask about any Luna and. And bugged. My mana may not be great. I only have like five, four or five duels. Looks like I'm fairly spread out on my three colors. And with such a low curve, I don't think I'm at liberty to play like 19 lands. Liberty to play about exactly 18. I doubt I want to play an off-color scry land. Got three reds. Four blues and what three blacks? Figure the mana out at the I and mean, that's gonna have to make I'm pretty fucking sure Raoul's outburst will make it. Just not gonna put it in yet. That's just a generically pretty good one. I'll just go ahead and put the big score in. Oh fuck, I wanna change Lannery. God damn it. I'll change them after I build the deck, I guess. Already done too much work. I think Rewind's going to make it. 
to think hole breaker. Let's just put the hole. This is 20. Let's see. This is a definite maybe. This thing I think might be okay here. This is like a stretch. This can be a definite maybe. It's these are just good cards that I might not have I might have better stuff. I guess we can just get rid of Rakdos. He's all over in a pile by himself. I don't want Nashi Boo Boo. I don't want Automaton. I think I like Whale Worse Tight. What what does Rezug do? Nashi for sure. I don't think I have that many things that that are getting through. Right? I mean, I got an agent. My creatures like I don't even want a Nashi a thief. That's like Swarm Saboteur. That's like almost it. I mean, kind of Lannery. I don't. I don't think she's. You need two drops for him, right? I don't. I don't think he looks great. I think I should just play my Rowls out first. I need to see what Rezog does. Target creature in your graveyard becomes an artifact. You may cast this card. So I play this. I spend two mana and a card to put it on the board. Then a creature has to die. Then I can bring it out. It loses, but it still has its abilities, right? So if I... If I cast Urtai, I think it would do something? Like it would kill a creature? Not that that's good enough. It's good with Crucius if he still keeps kicking. I don't think it's and it's good with agent if you can use that. No, it doesn't sound good to me because I only have like three things and it just doesn't do enough. Now this Newt. Well, he's a two two for two. He I'm not playing the Newt. Rewind. I already have how many counters? Three and a half, if you count, depending on how you count commit. But I do have a lot of things to do with the mana. Even Prismari command? Yeah, Rewind needs to get played. Means I think none of these get played. The Facebreaker is somewhat interesting, but he's probably shit. Alright, now I gotta find figure my mana out. Pretty cool that I don't have that many black cards, but they all cost like two mana, so I need a million black early. That's that would not actually be cool. This deck wants at least eleven blue. It would like twelve. has four we're gonna put in seven islands that's the minimum i think on it's all of this and this and that it gives me six more lands at least three of them need to be mountains at least two of them need to be swamps probably i would guess probably three of them need swamps Oh, my black is early. Six red, six blood. Not great. Anna is not great. Fuck, Chad. I ain't even looking at it. I don't know. I think this is the best I'm going to get it. I'm not going to play 19 land. I think I want 11 blue. And maybe go to play another mount. Six blacks, all I'm getting. So I have to have one. Gotta just get rid of the relic. 
I'm gonna play the Saboteur or have a chance to play. I'm gonna play Crucius if I hit a third land. I don't really need I wanna keep my removal. Acceptable. Changing my plans, going aggressive. I mean, if he has a wrath or something, for sure. He also might be blue white. Not that that's much different in shutting down aggro, but this seems more like a. I only have one bull. Should technically beetle first. Looks like Esper. I don't know, man. Maybe he's trying to bait me into getting hyper aggressive, as it were. You should do with this. There's only six red sources in the deck. It doesn't do anything. This and to this and cast that. Also, just throw it away because I probably don't want it. It's a tough one. I might also need to cast this and then I could play that afterwards. So that'd be pretty I play it. Got some fucking mana going. This takes Lannery out. No, no worry about the agent, huh? Robbery me for two. One is an island. It's gonna 
Oh, that. He showed me the island. So he hit two islands. Can't buy a fucking land. This one you have to mulligan. That's three games, three mulligans. There he is. That's also an interesting card. I don't know that this hand can really support it, but probably this if this thing's hitting, which I might be able to get it to, really probably won't have a lot of mana for this. Sharp set. Thank you for the subscription. Well, good for him. I don't know why you would ever bet on a side that we give a hundred to one, but even if it did get cut off early. One three creature. My guy is death touch, mind you. Other tapped creatures get one row. Untapped creatures get oh. That does not seem like something that needs to die right away. Yes, that being said, his next it does protect him from the edict. Little Naya Augusta deck, huh? Brew that? That's got a lot more scary now. And this thing fucking is doing something. Oh my god, it's attacking. Untapped. It's just got vigilance.
So OPKS lost like nothing. If you won 160k and it was 100 to 1, what are you bitching about? You guys bet fucking nickels. I thought I was a small better. That's a bold move, killing that one. Letting your letting your creature die too. That's a move you can make, goddamn. Don't you have millions OPKS? Like what the fuck? I have so many. I don't even watch that much. The gambles are so easy. I mean, usually I bet on him to lose just because the odds are too good. I'll bet on I bet on him to win at least once last night because somebody slammed 250 on lose for no reason. When the game wasn't even looking good. That's a lot harder to do because I don't run like gambles that people slam in for sure. I don't run them that much at all. It's a lot harder to get my Protect your card. Again, I mean, I, I don't think he loses more than half the time or anything. It's just the odds are like that where you, you don't have to win very often. I'm getting three to one or whatever every bet. Basically, I expect to lose more often than I win when I make my bets. But then when you do win, it just pays it pays so much. A lot of people have issues with that kind of strategy, like betting something they expect to lose, even though it the payout is... Oh, oh shit! He popped. I was pretty good with this joins up bullshit. Honestly, I can't really get through it. I'd have to try to kill him with this thing. It's chapter three and four that none of those gain life. Well, maybe I should have kept the counter. No, I don't want to use. No, it doesn't. You better be fucking lying to me. How do I? Oh my god, it does. Oh my god, it does. Can't believe I'm going to lose this game, potentially. He's a 16? Can't be. I mean, this would have been easy to beat if it wasn't for that Annie joins up. I'll point that out again. I have the mana to do everything. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think it had lifelink. 
There were plenty of things I could have done. I read the card and I still didn't see Leaf Link on it. Yeah, maybe I should have tried to get him to sack the... I don't know. Tough to see him sacking that over the 1-1. One, one. I mean, I certainly threw the game. That's the one to keep, buddy. This isn't casting anything. Just throws it into play. Uh, this will only do two damage. I, I don't know why I kept thinking it would do. I knew he wouldn't block the death touch. Right? Telling you, it would not have been close without that fucking Annie joins up shit. He had no cards in hand either. I thought I had to win that game 100% of the time. I didn't think there was a way to lose it. The deck looks fucking terrible besides that card, too. I mean, Bruce Tarles. This is like one card. Either. It's a tough one. Can this answer it? That's worth playing, I guess. It's not like it's that bad anyways. Might cut Lannery. Might just cut a counter. Could cut a big score. Unless you could trim a lot of stuff. On the play, Lannery's. Yeah, Whale's good against him. I want Whale. That's a good call. I guess I should keep Lannery. Not like stuff. I gotta put two more back in. This guy's probably. I don't feel like a two mana shock. I'll tighten at the top. I could just put a counter back in. It is the best aggressive card in the pool. I'm just saying that particular game, I would not have had any issue beating it if it wasn't for the hand. If he plays it turn three off of this, I'm going to be pretty fucked. It's just that particular game when he had no cards in hand, it wouldn't have been nearly good enough. Give him a block. I'm bluffing. These are the pauses that can kind of anger me. You got to be kidding me. White mana. Trick was on the board. They have the card themselves. How could they not know what it does? They gotta know what it does. I don't think anyone is purposefully slow. Painfully slow, yes. Like, I kind of get this. This is a decision. Should he attack and make his own or trade? I'm up a trade. Like, this is a decision. I think it's a decision he might want to make, but the other thing was just ass ridiculous. I mean, I, obviously, I assumed he'd never block in a million years. I was wrong about that. 
Are you going to sack his treasure to hit me for three? That'd be cute. I mean, I've taken some long turns. There was a lot of thinking to do in the, in the first game, but, like, this isn't thinking. I don't know what this is. It's just, like, sitting here, forgetting you're playing or Decent question. Absolutely he is. 55 left in the deck. Holy shit, he's going for a record. 65 cards. And I lost the first game to him. In moon draft. And scoops to the bounce. Okay. What the fuck am I dealing with today? He's on the play. He might get a good hand with his 65 card deck. He's mulliganed and I can cast most of my cards. All the cards in my opening. This is a pretty good situation right now. Still on the same 65. Let's hope this Baron just initiates another concede really fast. This game. No easy games here. This ought to be fun. We could get anything here. Hey, that's actually pretty good. To be fair, that scoop is fairly warranted. Keep it on the play. Up against another aggro deck? God damn. No mountain mana. Gonna run me over. The agent will happily jump in if allowed. It's 
pretty bad. I needed this turn to be the one he didn't play much. Yeah, I mean, seems like it's going to be difficult. I don't think it would be too difficult if one of these lands just happened to be a red land, but it just happened to be that. Depending on what he hits here, it might still be, yeah, it might be a, a draw a red in the next couple of Okay, 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 okay. Of course, he's got free reign again this turn. Okay. Good start. Ooh. Take a good card, at least. Take a good card. Beat Thuppy. In love with that card. Another good one. Fuck this nugget, man. Good, I don't know if I should. A bold move. if I want the whale against this guy, maybe? I mean, like, it's okay against Magda. Feels pretty bad against like, most of this stuff. I would say none of my cards look good to me. Baron, a whale, something like that could be decent. I think the counters, like, his threats are kind of big. You think I'm cutting this? It's like my best card. It fucking wraths him. Oh, I can fucking kill two creatures with this thing. Unless I have something that looks rancid. Like maybe my own lannery or something. Maybe cut Hallbreaker for like a six drop. I don't think I'm ever cutting that thing. I 
There we go. Easy. And is nice. Fires is so good. Nothing to even fires. Guess I need to counter that, because he gets to just play a land if I don't. I would much rather use fires and save my counter if it was something that didn't give him a lot. Well, he didn't have a land? Oh, I got... Oh, he did. Okay. I get rid of somebody. Nice, great, big, I thought might be nice. Okay, that's troublesome. One black man, I could, could be trouble. He doesn't have anything. It's kind of fuck. No blocks, okay. Hey, you got a draw step, and I'm locked and loaded. Oh, locked and loaded. Seen enough. Dicey against the 65 card deck. First three games mulliganed every time, but that's because my mana base kind of sucked. Oh, it's a lot easier.